This is Brent with Lycans Motorsports. Happy Monday evening. Thought I would do uh, a quick video showing the different types of engine part coatings that are available and what they are and what they're used for. Um, we'll just jump right into it. Uh, this is a coated diamond piston, FE piston for Mr. Holter. And um, it's been uh, coated on the skirts and coated on the crown. So the the coating on the skirt is a uh, anti-friction coating and you see this a lot on um, pistons such as like these Male pistons, they have the same thing. Um, but this is to reduce friction in the cylinders. Very good thing to have. And um, the coating on the crown is basically to reflect the heat of combustion off of the crown of the piston and to reflect it back in to the combustion chamber. This keeps your piston uh, temperatures down and um, this is handy for such things as, as forced induction or um, you know road race engines where there's just a lot of constant heat being made in the top of the engine. And um, coatings like this tend to, to help dissipate that and keep your parts cool. Um, coated bearings is, is another thing that, that I use a lot. These are calico coated Clevite big block Chevrolet rod bearings. This is a uh, just a coating that's applied and um, it's just a um, basically an added insurance against things as um, things such as, as dry starts or uh, just in a situation where um, you know high high stress, high RPM, high horsepower situations where uh, you maybe get a touch between parts. And um, I have been using coated bearings for a very long time, cam, rod, and main bearings. And um, I think what got me uh, started on these was I was having a conversation with Robert Pond, oh goodness, many, many years ago. And he had a customer that he had built an FE for. And that customer plumbed his remote oil filter adapter backwards. So when he fired the engine up, uh, it had no oil pressure. And um, I think there was a little bit of finagling and letting the engine run uh, without oil pressure just because he was trying to see, you know, what was going on. If it was a bad gauge or, or you know... Um, maybe a, a line that uh, was not showing, I guess, vapor locked or <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But um, he said that they assumed the worst when they tore the engine down. Uh, the coating on the bearings had pretty much saved everything. So there wasn't a lot of damage done. But um, it can be pretty expensive. Each, uh, each pair of calico coated rod bearings um, lists for about 25 bucks so you can get into a 200 dollars set of rod bearings in in a hurry and uh, it gets even more complicated if you're having to mix and match bearings to get your clearances right but um it's uh, in it's worth it in in my book um so in addition to all this uh we have the dlc coating which is the diamond like carbon coating that we do to wrist pins and lifters and that sort of thing. And that is a very hard coating that's made uh, to resist wear. And as I mentioned in my last video about the different camshafts, uh, we can get a DLC coated solid flight tappet tool steel lifters uh, that will live for a very, very long period of time against a billet steel core camshaft and um, some very high spring pressures. Um, you also see a lot of your higher end um, roller lifters such as the Morel Black Mamba and Jessel and some others have the DLC coating and it's not cheap but uh, it adds uh, an extra layer of protection for your engine. So let's go over um, a couple of other things. Um, uh, 
you'll see a lot of guys put coatings inside of their engine and you know uh, you see things like Gliptol which is actually um, a, a coating that was I think produced by GE for the insides of electric motors you'll see that used a lot on the inside of the engines uh, I personally do not recommend any type of coating whatsoever inside inside of your engine you know in the lifter valley or on the underside or whatever I have seen that stuff flake off and and I know guys say well when it's applied correctly it won't flake off well I've seen it flake off and it's not it wasn't done by me so um, you know I just don't like taking chances with anything inside the engine where you get things that start to flake off and get inside your oil pump a lot of uh, the older uh, aftermarket engine blocks come painted on in internal surfaces and I always have the blocks uh, baked and tumbled to to remove that because once again you just don't want any of that stuff flaking off and getting into your oil system um, the last thing is not exactly a coating but just how surface treatment uh, or a surface uh, is treated um, such as the rim polishing for for gears and for crankshafts and for that sort of thing I showed a video uh, Several weeks ago on a brand new Bryant small block Ford crankshaft that had been rim polished and I'll show a little bit of that right now but um, That sort of thing helps to shed the oil that would cling to that crankshaft and um, get off of the parts back into the oil pan where it belongs but uh, um, many different coatings that can be applied this ceramic coating or some of the ceramic coatings that are applied to like piston crowns and that sort of thing can also be applied to the female part of your of your cylinder head uh, on the combustion chamber and i've also seen that the heads of valves be coated with, with these things to help um, against high high temperatures inside the combustion chamber. So, um, cool stuff. It's expensive, especially when you're getting into shipping parts back and forth, back and forth, uh, especially cylinder heads and crankshafts and that sort of thing. But uh, it can be uh, worth its weight in gold in specific combinations and specific applications. All right, guys. Hope that uh, shines some light on some things that you can do for uh, anti-friction and anti-temperature and and that sort of thing inside your engine um, all some trick stuff that uh, that normal guys uh, don't think about so it's always good to introduce new things hope you guys are having a, a good beginning to your new week if you haven't taken time to subscribe I uh, urge you to do so so that you don't miss out on any of the cool, cool Ford engines we have coming through the shop and some of the uh, tech episodes that I have, such as this. Um, subscribe so that you don't miss out on those things. And when you're watching, hit that like button so I know how I'm doing. Hope you guys have a good week.